the NBA's best dressed players. Okay, this is gonna be a lot of fun. You're not gonna be able to find a video like this anywhere else. Okay, so you guys know me. I love fashion, right? I love fashion more than just about everything. I absolutely love fashion. I'm my brand that started last year. I just got so much money and investments. I'm really excited to bring you guys the next season. I've never had this much money to spend just on my brand before. So I'm really excited about that. But yeah, that, that's, I started off with just me wearing clothes, just me copying clothes. I used to do the whole, oh yeah, let me buy just the expensive designer stuff, right? And then I sort of got out of that and wanted to learn more about brands and yada, yada, yada. So I'm not saying it like I'm just the best fashion in the world, but I do have a pretty good sense of fashion better than most so i think that this will be a pretty dope video we're gonna look at the people that are pulling off the most advanced style we're not looking at the people that just put on gucci and prada and no we're looking at advanced style you know what i mean like People would go outside of the box and show us new stuff. Anyways, um, so without any further ado, man, let's get this video started. Shout out to everybody that's already liked the video. I love it when you guys do that. I'm excited for this. I don't know how good it's going to do. It's probably not going to break the internet, but it's going to be a very fun video to make. Um, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button for the kid because we've been doing this every day for like almost 100 days now. It's getting kind of crazy, honestly, how consistent and how driven and how focused I am. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, without any further ado... <laughs> Let's get into this. Professor Dr. Clark, let's go. Okay, number one on our list, who honestly might be the best dressed, I think he is actually, the best dressed athlete in the world. It's just crazy to me how Russell Westbrook can put on so much clothes that I've never seen before. Like, no one is really blowing my mind like that. This is insane. Some people probably won't like this. I think that's insane. I think to be able to get as comfortable as he gets outside of his comfort zone is just, it's not easy to just get out of your comfort zone and just kill it like that. Are these hair on Preston pants with the Converse? I don't know what that jacket is, but it's, it's, it's fire. Again, he came on there with the Gucci look, classic. That's nice, that's nice. Even a young Westbrook, I, again, I don't know what these shirts are. I don't know what these, I don't know, I don't know what they are. He be in his bag though. Him with Virgil at Virgil's show. He's wearing his brand right there. That's Russell Westbrook's brand that he has on. In case you didn't know, he has his own brand. Again, killing it. To be doing all of this, no stylist, bro, is like, it's pretty crazy. Take a look at his Instagram. I don't know what those pants are. Hard. In my opinion, Russell Westbrook is the best dressed athlete in the world. His ability to be able to do all of the same outfits that somebody like LeBron, who is very well dressed, or somebody like a David Beckham can do, but then also be able to go out of his comfort zone, go out of their range, and pull stuff like this off, and honestly look pretty good in most of the photos doing it, it's not easy to do. It's not easy to accomplish that. It's not like, in my opinion, he's number one. Also, off the top of my head, number two is probably Shy Gillis Alexander. I know he is young. I don't know. LeBron and James Harden really do. Let's take a look at Shy. Let's take a look at Shy. Okay, he posted this today. That's insane. With the with the with the capital with the capital jeans on backwards. By the way, he has those on backwards. This is insane. This is insane. I don't know what those pants, I can't remember the name of those pants, but they're literally impossible to find. They're literally so hard to find those. And then he threw on this varsity jacket, this super exclusive varsity jacket that's like 10K. That's literally out of this world. He's out of the world with this one. This one again is insane with the with the 1985 Jordans, the original snapback, the original sweats like bro he be going he be going crazy he knows his stuff i have these same shoes i've never worn them but i have them then he has on the 0.99 pants with the um custom silver surfer knit from the dude that does that one of the dudes that does that on instagram i know who he went to and got that it's just crazy like all of his fits the off-white a e bravado like he knows his stuff he definitely knows his stuff he's not 
just putting on random things everything that he has on is very hard i don't even know what these pants even are he stumped me on that one these 99 pants are crazy are crazy um so yeah he's in he's an early one because he hasn't been in the league that long but i'm telling you guys he for sure is one of the best dressed without it without a doubt he's been killing it for a while and it's only going to get crazier. It's only going to get crazier. So those would be my top two off the top of my head. Um, we'll look at some more. As far as shoes go, number one shoes has got to be PJ Tucker. He might not have the best style. Not that his style is bad. He doesn't have bad style, honestly. PJ Tucker's in the top five. He's in the top five best dressed in the league. He is. Yeah, nah, I'm lacking. I'm sleeping. Nah, PJ Tucker's style is insane. He's in the top five too. He's in the top five too. Cause he has a he has he has, he has the he has literally the best shoe game, maybe out of any athlete in the world. He might have the best shoe game out of any athlete in the world. He definitely has the best shoe game in the NBA by far. There's not even someone that you could say is really a close second. He literally blows, he's blowing the shoe game out of the water. This jacket's insane. That Gucci jacket's insane. These are very good looks. These are good looks. These are good looks. He's killing those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might He might be number two. He might be above Shaw just because his uh Man, just because his shoe game is 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 so intense. That's hard. That's hard. <laughs> it's hard, man. That jacket is insane. That jacket is nuts. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what type of jacket that even is, but it's insane. Yeah, PJ Tucker might be number two. He's definitely top five. Shy Gillis Alexander is top five as well. Again, some more off the top of my head. James Harden. I mean, James does his thing. I was going to say he seems like the person that just would literally just... Nah, James does his thing. He does his thing. He does his thing. I think it might be James is James is definitely up there. James is definitely up there. He's definitely up there. I'm giving PJ Tucker the, the, the nod over him though for sure. I might even give Shaq Billy Alexander the nod over him. LeBron is definitely also up there. <laughs> I feel like LeBron has a stylist though. This look is crazy. I love this look out of him. I feel like LeBron has a stylist though. Do I think do I really think he's doing this by himself? I don't know, LeBron, are you that fly with it? Are you fly like that, kid? He be stepping out, this is hard. I don't think he drank. There's no way he came up with this himself. LeBron, I love you, but I don't know. I don't know if I can give you that much credit. I think if Russell would've did it, I would've thought, yeah, he probably did that himself. I don't know, do we think LeBron came up with this outfit himself? This outfit is insane. First of all, it's like a $60,000 bag he's holding there. So that's insane cap with the business. This was a really, this was a really fire fit that stepped outside the comfort zone. That stepped outside the comfort zone, I will say that. Oh, he got on the Rick Owens pants. That's different. I almost said it didn't even peep that. That's different, LeBron. That's different with the Rick Owens, oh, the Rickies on. He throwing the Rick Ricks. Tough, 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 tough. So yeah, according to me, my top five consists of Russell, Shy, PJ, LeBron, James Harden, maybe a Kelly Oubre. And those are off the top of my head. Now we're gonna take a look at GQ and what articles and what other people have to say and see who else we can find out about that might be competing with them. But off the top of my head, Kuz is up there. He's not uh, he's not top five. I think I would give Kelly Oubre the nod over Kuz just slightly. I'm not gonna lie, Kelly Oubre has put me on a few different shirt brands. I'm not gonna lie, like he has put me on a few a few brands. This is crazy. This is crazy. Nah, he has some looks. Nah, that's insane. That's insane. These are all these are that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's very tough. Um tough. Tough, tough, tough. This is him walking the runway at a fashion show. That's great cap. Phenomenal cap. That's interstellar cap. That's different. Yeah, Kelly's up there. He's up there. He's up there. He's up there. These are all insane. These looks are all insane, honestly. Yeah, Kelly's nice. He's nice. This is crazy. I don't even know what those pants are. That's crazy. So yeah, Kelly's up there, man. He's up there. He's up there. He's up there. He's up there.
He's up there. All right, now let's see what let's see who everybody else feels like he's doing the thing. GQ had a NBA style showdown, and the most stylish player in the league is D'Angelo Russell. How did Russell Westbrook, man, y'all be hating like crazy. That's crazy. How does Russell Westbrook not make the the final four? Are you out of your mind? Like, y'all gotta stop that hating. That hating be crazy, man. Anyways, um, D'Angelo Russell. Okay, let's see it. Let's see what let's see what you got here for me. Fear guy jacket. Palm Angels, right, right. Gotta get some palm in there. Gotta do that. Gotta get some of that in there. WFP, I like that. I like the jet. I like the hoodie. Like they said, the winner of the style showdown is when you show this photo of him and this is supposed to be him winning the GQ, I just don't understand. I would say, honestly, even Kuzma is better dressed than D'Angelo Russell. I'm gonna be honest. This was fire. He was in his bag when he did that. He was in his bag. That was a, that was a Mike and Mary outfit. That was the limited edition. Nah, that was... Nah, that was fire. They they roasted him for that, but that was in actuality fire. That's what happens sometimes when you put on super fire. You, you might get roasted in the process. These these sweats are insane. You know what I mean? You might get roasted in the process, but that's part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, nah. I would give Kuz the edge over D'Angelo Russell. So LeBron actually almost won it. D-Wade does have a lot of swag. D-Wade does have a lot of swag. He wouldn't be in my top five because I know these brands and stuff that are prevalent to people like me and Shy and Kuz and even maybe PJ Tucker was, would not be prevalent to him. He don't know nothing about 99%. You know what I mean? He don't know nothing about capital. He, you know what I mean? It's a little bit more of a uh, grown man swag, which is cool. He's, I mean, he's, that's what he should have. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that like he should, shouldn't have that. That's what he... He should be more into the grown man sweat. But I just, yeah, and nah, I can't put him in the top five for me personally. Now, the only other people that they have right here in like the top, what is this, two, four, six, eight, ten that we didn't talk about is Jimmy Butler and Kyrie Irving. I'm a little familiar with Jimmy Butler's fashion, but let's review it. But there's like a few things that come to mind. Like this comes to mind. I remember he put this on. This was getting out of his comfort zone for sure when he did that. Light, it's a, it's some light. Some light, that, that's a Saint Laurent jacket. That's a very nice jacket. I used to want that jacket, but it cost too much, couldn't afford it. Yeah, I just don't know how much Jimmy Butler tries. That's that's nice, I like that, I like that look. That's a cool look. I just don't know how much he tries. I don't think he tries that much. He might have good fashion, but he doesn't really try that often. Certainly not as much as somebody like PJ Tucker, Shy. They never step out the crib not trying. They're trying every single day. You know what I mean? Like, Jimmy is not trying every single day all the time. So he might be up there, but he wouldn't be. He wouldn't be that he wouldn't be that high up there for me, honestly. Now I don't really think about Kyrie Irving when I think fashion, I'm gonna be honest. Not that I don't think that he has good style sense, which honestly is not bad. It's, it's honestly a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. That's hard. That's something light, but it's hard. Kyrie doesn't strike me like he really cares to really show off his fashion like that. So, I can't put him that high either. Yeah, Shy should have made it way farther. People are not... That's I'm telling you, man. People's... Fantasy sense is not the greatest. Chris Paul's is honestly not that bad. He has sort of an older grown man swag too, but in, in, in actuality, Chris, Chris Paul is... He's top 15, top 20 for sure, yeah, he is. I don't even know why Giannis is on that list. I'm not even gonna look Giannis up or why Dennis Schroeder's on this list. I'm not looking, I'm not like DeAndre Jordan. Yeah. Carmelo does have, does have drip. He does have drip. He does have drip. His fashion sense is not bad. It's honestly not bad. It's honestly not bad. I know that he knows his stuff. It's also a little bit more of on some old man swag, it's kind of a little bit now, but it's top 20. He's top 20 for sure. Yeah. I'm making this face because I'm looking at Kevin Love's fashion and it just seems really just bland to me. I mean, some people like to do that. There's nothing wrong with that. I know a lot of people that just like to stay in that real comfortable color scheme. He'd be in the bottom 20 for me. He'd be near the end. I just, it, it's, it's just, it's all basically the same look. It's the same colors too, I don't know. Doesn't do a lot for me. 
Chris Paul has style. I'm not gonna lie. I can't lie. I'm not gonna lie. He does. He, 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 he does have style. He's got more style than Kevin Love, and he's got a lot of money to spend. <laughs> he got a lot of money to spend it on with that over, that oversized contract. But yeah, Chris Paul has some style. Top 15 for sure, for sure. That's a hard look. That's hard. I like the pants. I like the, the hat, the shoes, belt. That's hard. That's a good look. That's a good look, Chris Paul. Good look. You killed that one. GQ also said Iman Shelford. Okay, he's kind of trying to get in his bag there. The hair on. I feel it. That shirt's a little, a little flexible. That's not bad. This is when he had a dress on or a little skirt on. <laughs> He got in the skirt bag. I feel it. I'm not mad at it. Nah, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Give me your bag. Yeah, nah. He, I mean, he's got some style. He's got some style. He does. He does. He does. Some of it's flexible, but there's nothing wrong with that. This, I like people when people get out of their comfort zone. That's 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 a good thing. So yeah, nah. He's up there. Top 15. He's somewhere around Chris Paul. This was crazy. That was crazy. He got that custom made by. I can't remember his name, but I know the dude that makes that stuff. That's crazy. Who that was hard. Honestly, I'd put Devin Booker, I'd put Devin Booker above above uh, D'Angelo Russell. Honestly, I, I've seen Devin Booker pull off some crazy stuff. All Star Weekend, he pulled off crazy stuff. I'd probably put Devin Booker over. He had this on this. He had this Cactus Flea Market on early. Isn't that what this is? Cactus Nike, I think. I'd probably give Devin Booker the edge over over D'Angelo, honestly. The slight edge. It's close, but I'd probably give him the slight edge. Man, y'all lucky Nick Young is not still in the league. Because if he was still in the league, he might be number two. He might be number two. Nick Young is crazy. Look at that shirt. Oh, my God. I don't even know what that is. That shirt is insane, though. He's done a lot. He's done a lot. Supreme, he's 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 done a lot. He also has his own brand. Nick Young. I mean, if we're I mean technically he's still an NBA player. He's not actively currently in the NBA. But yeah, he's giving PJ Tucker a run for his money. Because PJ Tucker again has the best shoots game. But Nick but Nick Young's clothing game is very elite. This is very crazy stuff he's pulling off that he's been pulling off for a while. He's very elite. He's very elite. He's actually one of the people that's really inspired me to go crazy. He's got he's, he's done a lot. He's done a lot. Like I don't even we don't even need to. Yeah, he's hard. He's hard. He's hard. <laughs> that's that's tough. That's tough. Super tough looks out of me. Jordan Clarkson as well, honestly. Maybe I didn't give him enough credit. He actually has a lot on here. Maybe I didn't give him enough credit. This is the Jordan Clarkson I like more, not this new <laughs> tatted up ratchet Jordan Clarkson. The LA Jordan Clarkson, he was in his cap bag. He was he was LA capping. He was big capping. He was big, big, big boy capping. Yeah, nah, he's he's nice. Again, I think I'd probably give him the edge over uh D'Angelo too. Jordan's pretty nice with it. He's pretty nice. He's got a lot. Normally when he has a, just a lot on Google, that means he's doing even more not on Google. This is this is crazy. He, he hopped in his bag on this when he got out of his comfort zone. And he was rumored to have dated my the wife, my wife Bella Hadid. <laughs> We got to put him in here, huh? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much everybody that I can think of. I looked at a lot of different articles. That's pretty much everybody. Um, As far as the best, I would say Russell. Again, number one, PJ Tucker is up there. Shy Gillis is, is going crazy. He might be number one soon. He's really going crazy. LeBron, Harden. I put Nick Young above both of them, though. I put Nick Young above Shy, honestly, because Nick Young has been doing it for a while. I put Nick Young probably at, if we're counting Nick, if we're counting him, I'd put him at two or three. If we're counting Nick Young, he's two or three for sure. He's crazy. I put him above LeBron and 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 Harden for sure. LeBron and Harden are definitely up there. I don't know if Le, I don't know if LeBron's dressing himself. If he is, then he's up there. If he's not, I don't know. 
Um, Kelly Oubre is right there. Jordan Clarkson is right there. Devin Booker is right there. So, yeah, does anybody I forgot? You can let me know. But I don't think there's any major names that I forgot. You can let me know whose fashion sense you like the best. I hope this has all inspired us all to get a little bit more into fashion. Like I said in the intro, I love it. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. I need you guys to smash the like button for me because this video probably won't get that many views because I know it's not like super click baby and not everybody's going to want to watch it. But I I enjoyed it. I'm sure you guys that are here enjoyed it. So just smash that like button for me to make up for the people that aren't here. Um, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscription button for me. I've been posting every single day for three months now, 90 something days. So we've been going in. Um, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> As we sitting here looking at, looking at fashion for 50 minutes, man, I'm out. Peace. Yeah, Jordan does his thing. He does. He, he does his thing. No cap.